Welcome to our family adventure as we drive from our sunny home in Brisbane to explore the breathtaking beauty of Kosciuszko National Park. Our journey begins in the charming village of Turawina. This quaint village offers a jaw-dropping view of the Warrumbungal Range, an ancient volcanic landscape that stretches across the horizon. This sunset lookout was exactly what we needed after an eight-hour drive and was a nice breather before our next big drive to Gundagai. Located eight kilometers from the town of Gundagai is the famous Dog on the Tucker Box statue. This monument was inspired by a 19th century Bullock Driver's poem and celebrates the enduring loyalty of working dogs in Australian folklore. A quick break at the Black Perry Lookout gave us a chance to stretch our legs and recover from the windy road towards the Yerangopilly Thermal Pools. Nestled in the northern end of Kosciuszko National Park is where you'll find the entrance to the Yerangopilly Caves Thermal Pool. To access this you'll need to walk approximately 700 metres down a steep gravel walkway. These naturally heated pools average around 27 degrees Celsius, which is a pleasant swimming pool temperature. Facilities at this venue include change rooms, toilets and picnic benches. What goes down must come up, or at least that's what we had to prepare ourselves for after an enjoyable swim in the pools. Ascending through the mountains, we caught glimpses of the breathtaking Snowy River Valley and came across a cute little hut that you could camp at. It was even home to the cleanest long drop I'd ever encountered. As we made our way towards Threadbow, we popped into the Threadbow Diggings campground to enjoy the peaceful scenery. We also had a coffee and a play at Lake Krakenback Resort and Spa. Threadbow, a vibrant alpine village nestled in the heart of the snowy mountains within Kosciuszko National Park, is a popular destination for both winter and summer activities. During the winter months, visitors enjoy skiing and snowboarding on its diverse terrain, while the summer months offer hiking, mountain biking and scenic chairlift rides. The chairlift is quite an experience in itself. Though a safety bar rests above your torso, the ability to slide out through the gap had me holding tightly to the bar with one hand and gripping onto Ella with the other. I must admit I was a bit anxious to begin with, but I began to relax as we ventured up the mountain. Oh. Are you able to film for a bit? Are you filming right now? 
<laughs> Could you hear the anxiety in my voice? The Kosciuszko Express chairlift takes visitors to an elevation of 2,037 meters. This makes the walk to the country's highest peak a little easier. When we reached the top of the chairlift, we had to wait for five minutes while a helicopter transported heavy materials across the walkway to the summit. Then we were on our way to the first lookout as a family before splitting into two groups where Terry, Matt and I would walk to the summit of Mount Kosciuszko. The first part of the walk was pretty challenging for Ella and her poppy who walked 1.5 kilometers uphill. Luckily the wired walkway provided plenty of grip which made the walk a bit easier. Talks of a baby Chino at the cafe once we split up was also a good incentive. one of the second points of interest along the way up to the Mount Kosciuszko summit just after the initial lookout. This is known as the Lake Kutapatamba lookout. The wild flowers and trickling water make the walk to the summit a peaceful and enjoyable experience. At 2,228 metres, the summit of Mount Kosciuszko is Australia's highest peak, so it was surprising that the hike wasn't particularly challenging or ridiculously steep. One hundred and fifty-six steps. Yep, that's how many stairs I counted as we neared the final climb. But we'd made it this far, so there was no turning back. Not until we'd enjoyed a well-deserved lunch and taken a few victory photos. Time to tick off another bucket list item. If I thought the chairlift up the mountain was scary, the ride down was even worse. But after the initial drop at the top of the mountain, I was able to relax and breathe again. I also knew what I'd be celebrating with back at our accommodation in Jindabyne. Only 30 minutes from Threadbo, Jindabyne offered us the perfect place to stay for four days while we explored the area. In the 1960s, the original town of Jindabyne was flooded during the construction of the Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme. The town was relocated to its current location on the shores of Lake Jindabyne, with some original buildings being moved and preserved in the new town. Here we are at Lake Jindabyne, and there's lots of clouds, lots of ducks, lots of rocks, and yeah.
We drove to an unofficial lookout called Sunset Hill to have a better look at the town of Jindabyne. Next to the lake, Ella enjoyed a play at the playground and we went for a lovely stroll along the water's edge. There are plenty of walking tracks in and around Jindabyne and we were so lucky to be able to experience the tranquil sights during the warmer autumn season. Our one day stopover in Canberra began when we visited the Australian War Memorial. Next stop was the Mount Ainsley Lookout, where we got a bird's eye view of the city. Canberra is so different to any other part of Australia that we've been to. Everything feels so structured and orderly here. We booked our tickets for Questacon at 2.15, so we found a park early and had time to explore the surrounds. We popped into the National Portrait Gallery where we found activities for Ella to engage with. Questacon is Australia's National Science and Technology Centre. With over 200 hands-on displays across eight themed galleries, Questacon aims to inspire curiosity and lifelong interest in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. This place had so much to do and see. It was a bit of a sensory overload for Ella and the rest of us, so it was a great way to end our day in Canberra. Last stop, Newcastle, where we caught up with family and enjoyed the beautiful sunny weather and beaches. The Newcastle Memorial Walk is a must-do, with a beautiful walkway providing you with views of the city and the coastline. This brings our journey to an end for now. Until our next holiday, we'll be dreaming of where our adventures will take us next.